Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And we have a lot of Indian units. And it's great. Yes, yes, we do. You've made a lot of the awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll stick them in a chest. We've got 3,000... Uh, things, stuff, many, uh, what are they called? Rail, rail tracks, tracks, that's the word I'm after. We've got 3,000, oh, they're just, they're called rail. Yeah, we've got 3,000 of those, that's quite helpful. Um, yep. uh, but we've, we've been talking about planning out the layout. Yeah. The base, and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> I think it will. Yeah, uh, the, the idea is that we're going to try and uh, put our main smelting here, pretty much where we started, just just north of the crash site. Um, we're going to put this smelter, so we're going to have like the copper lined up here, and we're going to line it up with the edge of this lake. Um, so, and fill the lake in, expand it, we can span it north, and it will just go, or we could fill in the lake, yeah, it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then our iron was going to go sort of next to it with a big gap, so we can do that. Yep. That would be the idea. I don't know exactly how how far, how deep can you go? Yeah, so that's a very good question. Um, because with the yellow belt and the normal smelters, we, we can do... 24 on each side, right? Okay. Uh, but I don't know about uh, the electric smelters, which is the plan to, to use them eventually, right? Yes, yeah, electric smelters and blue belts. If we build it yeah. with that in mind... Yeah. So how then... big can we go? Long way. <laughs> I, I, I did not think this was that far. Um I was going to go to the edge of the, the, the lake to find out where the, the side of it would be. Okay. I'll, uh... But I've just realized that how big this area actually is. It is quite big. So, I mean, providing we're somewhere close to it, like just looking at the map again, yeah, we could always fill in the edge if we need to. Yeah. So, okay. So if we were to come down here... Cause the other thing I was thinking as well is... Um, what if we had the trains? My original idea was that the trains would come in one end and then you'd pick up on the other end. Mm -hmm. But you are limited by how deep you can go by the speed of the belt. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if it was being supplied at full whack with the electric smelter, how many electric smelters can you put on a blue belt before it runs out? Yeah. Before you just can't supply it anymore. That's the limit. So yes. then if we had trains drop off in the center and then had, like, north of it was one smelter array and south of it was another one. Yeah. You could have two pickups, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We're going to have to have many pickups. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I just wonder if it might make more sense to just, like, the trains drop off in the south, pick up in the north, and then you have multiple northern pickups and multiple southern drop-offs. Yeah rather than splitting it between north and south and then potentially causing our trains to go. I don't know where I'm going. Uh... Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so so the, the question is, I, I'm thinking that the, the one set of smelters uh, that will be uh, fully saturated will go east-west, right? Or west-east. That we, we, uh, we build... uh, uh, my brain was all working north south. We, we... So, so the, the, the trains would come in from the east to the west and like stop, and then the smelters would be above or below it. Okay, but it works either way. It does. It works. It works either way. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It just uh, I, I'm thinking that uh, let, let's say we have uh, some smelters here, right? Uh, between these uh, things, and we have the output on the long ones. 
Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we I mean, have off trains off of here. It will give it a bit more space. Drop yeah, off yeah, over yeah. here, you and then pick side. up on the other side. Okay. Because yeah, then my, my brain was going drop off at the south and pick up at the north. So. Yeah. So so if we if we do it like this, if we know how long the array needs to be to saturate a blue belt, then we don't limit ourselves uh, in how far north or south we can go by having a train stop and having to move that all the time. Because we'll have yeah. it at each yeah, end. That, yeah, that, but that's exactly the same as I was thinking. It was going to be, you drop off in the south, you pick up in the north, and the array just goes south to north and then ah, you okay. move one bit another one to the west bit another one to the west that sort of thing yeah okay. it's exactly the same thing. it's it's exactly the same thing it, it doesn't just turn. doesn't really matter um no it doesn't matter uh so yeah, yeah so i i don't mind if we build one way or the other uh, so if we if we build like you say then The limiting factor would be the oil, uh, because we'd run into the oil eventually if we made it wide enough. I, yeah, I think, I think going the way you said them would make sense. Uh, bring the trains in uh, over here somewhere. Like the copper train would be over here. Yeah. And then we figure out how much space we need for an array going west to east. Yeah. And then we just put another one above it, another one above it, another one above it as we need to expand it. Yeah, and then we just fill in the lake if we have to. Uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't yep. matter. And then over here, with a big enough gap, you put in the iron. Yeah one yeah so Agreed. you know what that means that means we can work around the trees because they're fine being there they can just that, that means we need grenades no no yes no. These trees are our friends they can stay no they can't stay why don't you use a flamethrower instead of something do, do, be, be oh, you obviously have never tried using a flamethrower no, oh, on the not. trees, <laughs> because that's erratic and it leaves. I, I mean, it's like a forest fire, right? It, it just spreads. And, ah, okay. And it leaves uh, behind burnt crisps of trees that you then have to go tear down manually and stuff. So, but but yeah, it, it, it's it's like a forest fire, and it's not only the trees that that burn; the the grass burns too. Oh, okay. Uh, so, it, it's actually quite dangerous. It can be quite dangerous if there are, there's a lot around. The, the The grass doesn't burn that far out, but the trees they will just, I, I mean, light one tree in a forest, and the whole forest goes down. Right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, maybe not then. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's right. Start um, some more research. Well, looking at the, uh, the, the 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 wonderful Googleness um, mm -hmm. of so, sorry, this episode's a bit of theory crafting at the moment here, but um, it is. Uh, but it's part it's of the that. game. That's true. That is true. Um, you need, according to, according to this, this reference, instead of Factorio, it's referencio.info, uh, which is apparently a uh, Factorio uh, reference sheet. Okay. Uh, I don't know how true this is, because obviously I need to have a look and test things, but um, uh, to output you need 12 mining drills 
12 electric drills to 11 furnaces, electric furnaces. So it's, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. But for a blue belt, you can use 70 electric furnaces. Okay. For one blue belt. So that's 35 on each side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because apparently a blue belt can transfer 2,400 items uh, mm. per minute, I guess. Uh, per, yeah, per minute. 2,400 items per minute on both sides. Okay. So, so yeah, so that's 35. So if we were to build a single, like, one that is 35 long and, and, uh, does it all then we know exactly what our sources are exactly so let's do that let, let, let's go we have to use we have to use some ghostly stuff to do it because uh yeah we would we would um that's kind of what i was trying to figure out where the edge of the uh the lake is up here yeah so, do you know what i'm gonna go get a car oh that's a good idea i'm gonna go get a car that's a good idea. I want a car too. I don't know how well you can drive cars on this because I remember before it was a. Uh... It was a bit dodgy, but yeah, yeah. It seems fine at the moment. Uh, I mean, we I haven't had any lag problems at all. Awesome, good to hear. That means my internet's behaving itself. Yep. Um, it also means that we don't have that much going on yet. With biters and stuff, because it's mainly the biters that call the. That's call true. The when the biters bite start pathing, it causes issues, isn't it? Yeah. So, look, what do I need to make a car? Let's see here, I have enough steel, enough iron plates. I just need eight engine units. Well, that's what I need. Well, there's thirty-five. So let's make one of those and then put the rest of the engines back. There we go. God, I wish it was that easy to make a car. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh. Bonk. Hey. Uh, put the fuel in. Uh, F. Well, we... There's a car. Got a gun on top. Yeah, there's a gun on top. I did not know that. Really? Just needed to feed I, it some arrow, know, and it gun. actually is quite efficient. It's a better weapon than, than not, your machine I gun. I did not know that the cars had, had, had guns on top. That's quite funny. Wow. Uh, After I, I, uh, 130 it's, it's, episodes of Factorio, you didn't know well, that the cars had guns. This cars for like two episodes of had it didn't work properly because of lag. So we just gave up on them. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're off. Oh. Ah, there's a little bit of lag. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly beats walking. It does. Can I make some repair kit? Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> I accidentally put my finger down on the key. <clears throat> yeah, so I was going to look at where the edge of this lake is. So, so it's right here. Here. Why make repair kits? I can't. Um, and then figure out where a train would go. Which would be. There, so that would be the edge of our train line. Yep. Forget my con I'm forgetting my controls. Oh, that's not how you repair a car. Don't. We picked it up. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, yeah. It's quite useful yeah. that you can just Let's put your car in your pocket. It is because it also means that I can now set it completely straight. Mm. So, so I now know that it's traveling directly straight. So, and it saves on parking expenses. It certainly does. 
If I could pick my car up in real life and put it in my pocket, that'd be great. I also wouldn't have to worry about it getting damaged or anything. I could just, no. you know. Suppose you might get scratched by your keys or something. Oh, God. It'd be like Ant-Man. <laughs> yeah. I've, 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 I've got a keychain. It looks like a tank. Yeah. No, it's actually it's a tank. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, that's uh, out. That's um, that's going to be the edge of the rail. We're going to have four rails, aren't we? Yeah. But that that will do as a guideline. Um, let's let me let me have a look at where the other rail is going to be then. So one there, one there, there. Wow, you went far. I did indeed. That was almost an accident. Ah! Did you run out of ghost rails? Uh, no, I, I had to steer the car, and uh, uh. I failed. What I should do is just run a great big ghost line, because you can just do it in one big long, long line, can't you? Yeah, you can. I forgot about that. Let's do that. So this is the other side of the rail. Uh, and the others will be in between? Yeah, there'll be two in between as well. Oh, like that. I know, I... Oh, trees. trees! Trees! I told you they were evil. Well, that tree isn't evil anymore. That tree is dead. <laughs> <laughs> that tree was involved in, in, in a, a, a very serious car crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah so that that would be we need to leave that much space yep well, the ghost reels are useful and i i uh, we, we need to leave quite a bit more than that because We, we need parking areas for the trains. We need oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. drop-off oh. and stuff like that. Figure out where the rail's coming in as well. Um, yeah. So as to know where... Well, I suppose for the time being, it would have to come in above this lake because we can't fill it in, can we? Uh, we I have unlocked... Um landfill but we don't have anything Ooh. so we could potentially fill in this green lake which is yeah. uh, weird uh, it looks like they had pollution before we arrived or is it uh, is, is it oil it from from our spaceship or something is, is, is that us I don't know I, I haven't really paid attention to whether any other I don't know what color this lake was when it first me neither. Um, but it is very uh, close to, to the... Um... I'm, I'm going to assume oh. it was green already and we didn't do anything. Yeah. We wouldn't, we wouldn't pollute like that. No, no, of course not. But it is inside our pollution area, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I, I do remember them saying that, that that's changed that. So let's go and have a look at the actual lake down here and see. Uh, I did see that they have changed something so that like water does get polluted. Oh, that's cool. Let's go down here. Let's see, this this lake looks all right. Oh, no, I'd I'd say this is us. Yeah, yeah, I'd because uh... this this bit of water definitely looks a bit more green than the other bit of water. Wow. There's a tree there. Yep. I, I can't ride my car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I guess that's us. Yeah. Well, oh, it's oh, all for we progress. Down? Well, the thing is, though, if we fill it in, it won't be it won't be polluted anymore. 
No, that's true. So, there you go. Yeah. Awesome. We'll fix it ourselves. Oh, don't go through that. <laughs> it really reminds me of playing an old game on the Spectrum. Uh, these cars, they, they handle like that. I can't remember what the name of the game was. Some Trans Am game or something. But uh, okay. yeah. Uh, so, so I suppose our limiting factor then is if we come in. I assume we're not going to fill in the giant lake below us. No. So it would be the top of that lake would be where a train line would come in. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and map that out. Because I feel like doing that. I don't know why. I don't know if this is actually where the rails are going to go. I just make some decisions, make some big plans. Yeah, exactly. Right, so what I'll do is, what do we need to make landfill? Just stone. have some stone way more than we need for our thing here and so we what more oh, someone put a river some someone put a lake in the way. Tell them to move it. Well, I would, but, you know, it's kind of in the way. But I want to put that, that cross rail in there because then that means basically anything above and to the right of these two rails is where we can put the smelter in. Yeah. Makes sense. And uh, that works because then we can leave a gap for train stops and then copper. And then another gap, and then iron. I'm worried that we're going to end up at that crude oil. Very much. I don't know. I don't know. Th th things, things on the map seem a lot bigger than they actually are. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, like the, the, yeah. If you zoom out on the map, traveling from one lake to the the other lake doesn't seem like very far, but would take a good minute or so to walk. So. Yeah. It would. I wasn't straight. A couple of you. And it also means that doing this layout, I can figure out where to put that roundabout thing in. And I use the word thing very, very applicably. Because I don't quite know what it is. Cross row slash. I don't know yeah, what. Something. It's a something. It's a thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, solar thought... energy. No, we can't use solar energy. <gasps> it's not allowed. Nope. But we need to we research can't... it anyway. Do we? Yeah. Oh, in order to get space research pack and... Yeah. Personal robot ports and stuff. Damn it. Well, we're not going to put any solar panels down, are we? That's nope. Not. not a one. Nope. Cool. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, where was you doing the landfill? Uh, I set up six assemblers making landfill down here. 
do, do, do. Uh, we're not producing enough stone for them. Well, no, we're not. We're not what? We're, who, we're not, where, we're, 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 we're not uh, mining enough stone for the landfill. To, uh, to fill up uh, I, I, I think I figured out like one assembly machine too. Um, usually something like four miners on its own. Oh wow! Yeah, the, it, the stone. The stone is also for uh, for rails. Yeah, you probably want to just cut that down to two of those making. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to run out of. Because, <laughs> yeah, they are mad. They, they are absolutely mad at using landfill. There. Because you can see that they're not getting enough stone to do nope. it. It's, it is mad that you. It's, it's something like three fast inserters on a completely full blue belt, and that's just enough to feed them. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, let's uh, let that go. Yep. And do we still have stuff stored up in our chests here? Uh, it's barely keeping up. I think that's around the right amount of labs that we have going. So that's rail there. And that does mean that we can have smelters and stuff below. Mm -hmm. Wow, that used pretty much all of the landfill I had. There, it's gone. Landfilling it takes a lot. It landfill. does, it does. And uses an awful lot of stone. Yep. Okay. Really Should we put in one of these uh, crazy crossroad things? Try it. Give it a try, shall we? Blueprints. Where's the blueprint? There it is. Rail cross track junction. Hold it there. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, it needs to be modified as well. But if I just generally click there, ten more, Jesus Christ! That's what it will look like. I want to see. I want to see. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> need to redo the center. Yes, we need to redo the center. Uh, oh, hold on. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Slightly wrong because it shouldn't have. Can I? It, it's wrong. Hold on. It looks right. But it's got the rails in the center and it should have them. Ah. Should be like that. There we go. There. So these lines on the outside don't go straight through. Mm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, we have rails now, so we can start put it, putting it down if we want. But we're out of time. Mm. Are we? Oh. Why does that always happen? Yeah. Stupid other life that gets in the way. Yeah. Who would do a thing like that? Yeah. I don't. Uh. Babe, if you're watching that, then I didn't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. That's not right at all. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll have to uh, 
I was trying to figure out how to put a loop on the end of this and it doesn't work because it's not it's not the right size. Uh. It looks good. Uh, I, I like the way the the crossing looks. The, the only issue is the little thing in the center where I'm standing. There we go. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that, that needs work. That desperately needs work, I think. <clears throat> I don't think it should be there at all. Mm. I think it should be much further back. So yeah. I should move them back to like three or something and then from there figure out how to connect it up and yeah so did it like that for instance i think maybe even maybe we would back work. a little bit more so it doesn't go over the the center crossing as well uh yeah i, I it's, it's going to stop that whatever happens there really yeah that's true But I suppose it could potentially go back. Well, that that's the furthest black it could go. Yeah. Um, let me remove. So that's that's the furthest back it could go. But that leaves enough space that we could stick signals in here. Yeah. Because then you'd have that one as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. If I remember how this all works. And then that one there down to here. That was not right. That one there down to there. And then this one here up to there. Bad rail there. And that yeah. should be it. Yeah, I think. Looks then like all it. I need to do is add in uh, a stop there, a stop there, a stop there, and That should be it, I think. Maybe there might need to be more junctions put in somewhere. I don't, I don't know where. No, oh, but it looks like it looks right to me. And we are doing right-hand side driving as well this time around. Yep. yep. So that should work. Yeah, it's either, it's either that or put a roundabout in the center here, essentially. Yeah, but the roundabout will cause trouble, I think. It, yes, yes, I think it would. This way, I think, if a train was coming on this track down and so it's to go this way, it shouldn't block off a train that's coming up and going this way. No. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll have to test it. We'll have to put it down and see it in action. Yeah. <clears throat> but I have to wait for an upper time. Yeah, it will. It will. But yeah, um, I think it's, it's looking good. But uh, we are going to try and figure out uh, a schedule that works so that we can record together for next week as well. Uh, yes, yeah, because things are a bit up in the air at the moment. Yeah, if we can't find a time to record together, then we'll try and record separate episodes and uh, yeah up, upload them separately but at the same time as normal yeah 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 like we did a few so so it'd be our own perspectives but we'll we'll, we'll yeah. figure it out and uh we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah basically basically so yeah uh thank you very much for watching guys we hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time have fun